Hello, this is round one, and my hand is not great. I do have a pike, doesn't do anything, which is the risk of playing this card. And I also have no way of enabling my graveyard. I do have a 2 drop and a 5 drop. But uh, I don't think this hand does very much of anything, so I'm gonna mulligan. And this is not great. The pike is taunting me again. But I do have a couple of things to do at 3 mana and I do have a scry so I'm gonna keep this and hope to hit some lands kinda wish I kept my first hand but oh well white is a good color maybe when the first hand had a black mana so maybe I should have kept it did not get there. I did pass some sick white cards. Slayer of the Wicked is not going to do it that much against us, but though. But we are in trouble, of course. Blue white is an annoying matchup if you don't have no to the bone, which I don't. Oh, that's blue mana. I guess I played Pike, why not? And hope to hit a land for Civilized Scholar, which is probably going to be the pick. Play. I can't tap it. It's human. This woman taps non-humans. So it's going to be able to tap Splinter Fright. I don't have any removal in my deck. But that's usually fine when you're playing Spider Spawn. Is this a Spectral Flight or something? Nope. Traveler's Amulet. Fine card searches for a land. You don't usually want to play three colors in this format unless you're spiders. But you have that option sometimes. So that first hand I think is if I had something like a Selhof Occultist, I would have kept it because that can get the train rolling with milling myself. But maybe I should have kept the first hand. But if I can get down Civilized Skull, there's not much blue white can do against it. So I think I'm fine. Got planes. I can now dismiss that and attack and hope for land. March is fine too. <laughs> okay, well. I did hit three creatures, so if I ever draw spider spawning, that could be good. And I can now drop Splinter Fright. Problem is that I might get milled out before I can do anything, but I did hit my black mana though. So there is that. Spider could be okay against him though. He does have a tapper. But really super sad I didn't get any naught to the bones because it's so important to have a naught to the bone. But we only have one second pick and there's no way you're gonna pick naught to the bone over a good enabler. Because you can almost always get naught to the bone. Okay, chapel guys, so the race is on. I guess. The uh, priest is also pretty good against the pike. But maybe I can put it on the scholar. It's pretty. It's also very good against the juggernaut, so <laughs> this priest is doing everything right now. Did it land. So I could get the party started with Splinter Fright. Um, it's gonna be a free free. And it's gonna mill me out in uh, like... Um, so basically it mills two cards every turn and you draw one card for your turn. So that means that I have, would have to kill my opponent in uh, eight turns. And I think that's gonna be doable, right? So, just gonna get the party started. Basically forcing my opponent to keep a mana open. 
Oh, maybe not this turn. Oh, that's a good card. It's gonna be problematic. A mill two lands. Attacking because I'm fine with any trades here. Don't think. And I guess I play Scholar. I can dig me into a Spider Spawn or something. Also dumps creatures in the yard for this and this. So, and it's not possible to tap this even when it's transformed. But we are gonna have to hit the spider spawn pretty soon because we are losing this race. We are on a two turn clock. Nah, that's good. Alright. Um, so my opponent has silent departure. And. Uh, not gonna be able to kill me next time. I'm gonna start by drawing. Hoping to hit spider spawning. Didn't. Don't really wanna mill spider spawning right now. Guess I just got a juggernaut. Because I, I'm not gonna be able to get to 7 mana. Um, I guess I will. Uh, Play a land. And I, I won't transform this back because I think my only out is going to be spider spawning. Alright, so. No attacks. And play. I'm not dead, so I guess I play an armored scab. Uh, I guess I quit. That's a 6 1, but I want to be able to draw a card next turn, so I guess I just. Although that's gonna get tapped, so. I guess I equip. And then pass the turn. My opponent can attack me for 9. Or bounce. But if I hit spider spawning, maybe I'm still in this game. I'm gonna be able to create 6 spiders. So I assume my opponent is going to bounce the uh, Civilized Scholar. Seems like a good plan, doesn't take away a card from his or her hand too. But if my opponent can draw a card in some way I'm going to lose because then the Sturm Geist is going to be 5-5. This card is very good. I actually had it today in another deck, a spider spawning deck. Uh, and it was great because it was a blue creature, that's insane. So anytime you have a creature that's blue or green, that's very good. Because it does double duty, it becomes a spider if you mill it. Yeah, I don't like my chances here. So it's gonna allow me to actually find a spider spawn. Nope, I think I don't have any outs now. Because even if I mill... Yeah, I think I'm dead. Yeah, missing that knot to the bone really hurt me. So I don't think I have any good sideboard cards. I mean, I could take out Grave Bramble since he's flyers, but I did saw some Aggressive creatures, uh, Elder Qatar and blocks uh, Mausoleum Guards for a turn or something. So, 
Yeah, I guess I'm gonna submit. And Rune Shorter Spike was very bad at game. But what else am I gonna play? Maybe I could replace it with a creature or something. Hmm. And this is weird. Smallensk has left the game. Rainswill will take his place for civilized scholar. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it's really strange. So um, my opponent takes my place for civilized scholar. So I am considered to be a civilized scholar then. Is that how I'm gonna be? Read this or what? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I still like my deck, but I, but I, I'm gonna struggle against blue white because they can ignore a lot of my creatures that come up the ground. So I really love to play against black red vampires, as long as I don't have bloodline keeper, of course. That could be bad. But I really didn't get the ball rolling, so if I can just fire off a big spider spawning, that could be good. You want to combine spider spawning with Nautil Bone, but it's really sad that I didn't get any. It's a common, you usually have no problem getting any. I could usually get two Nautil Bones, is the thing, when I play. But not this time. And I didn't get any silent departures either. Let's see if there even was one in the draft. There might have been, but... Uh, no, this is my draft from uh, earlier this day. So then I stole Gavney Township first pick. Then I got past the spider spawning and then... I actually played the Gavney Township. I splashed it off of two Avacyn's Pilgrim, so ended up going 2 1 with that deck. I want to play first, and that's <laughs> the pike again. I'm going to keep this because, or am I? I can't play this card, it's just going to die. Maybe I should, maybe you should <sighs> never play Rune Shots Pike, period. I'm, I'm gonna keep this hand because I have a, if I draw a mulch, this card gets online and then it unlocks my hand. I could also draw a deranged assistant or a land, could buy me some time. This is borderline, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Seems like a bad matchup actually. Can just uh, this card is generally pretty good, but it is bad against Avacyn's Pilgrim. Yeah, maybe I should have mulligan this. Then. I'm gonna pause it till my opponent decides to show up. All right, he's back. Mulch would be sweet. That's also a fine draw if I can draw a land because then I can play alchemy, get some stuff in my... Oh, I should have played my pike. That was a mistake. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't get punished for it, but I just clicked too fast. Yeah, an Elicator. Nope, not getting there. I I don't know. Playing a little loose. That's a fine draw. As long as it doesn't get countered. It didn't. Because it gives you mana and it mills. So it could be good. So this is a storm, guys. That's annoying. But what are you going to do? I think this has to be a something good. Otherwise, why would my opponent keep, keep the attack? Okay, so I have a choice. I'm going to... Mill first. Let's see if I hit a creature. I didn't. Okay, I'm gonna alchemy for a land. 
And uh, it would have been nice to get a scarecrow, but taking a forest here since I have a double green spell. And now I have a creature in my yard. Also have a spell. So that's okay. I could very I'm very surprised what my opponent could have in his hand. Maybe he has dissipate, but couldn't you dissipate uh, my two mana ma mana creature when I'm stuck on two lands? I don't know. Man. So I could get splinter fight going, but okay, that's a good play. Um, have nine cards in my hand. Think I like. Going with Civilized Scholar is to get deeper in my deck. And I might as well discard maybe Grey Bramble or something. I don't know. Definitely discarding a creature, but. I think Scholar is better than Assistant Piss because it's gonna draw me a land and I get to use all my mana. Yeah, Pond's actually not doing that much. Well, maybe now he's Bonds of Fate, okay. Land. Now I'm under some pressure. I, I don't have a. Uh, a. Um, silent Departure. I guess I just play Juggernaut because I can block. If I had an, another island, I could have played two spells, but I like this probably. It's an interesting card. Basically, unkillable. Also, attacks for a lot. And feeling of dread, okay. Well, that's pretty good against the Agnot, I'm not gonna lie. And there's the spider spawning, sadly. <laughs> I think I'm just dead, right? He's just gonna tap and kill me. Yeah. Whatever I do, he's gonna kill me. Guess I. Uh, I don't know. Pretend I uh, can find something. Oh. Yeah. Alright. Well, I probably shouldn't have kept that hand, but. Yeah, it is what it is. We'll see you in round two because this is a 6 2 2 2, so I get it's double elimination, so I do get to play another round.